Welcome folks, thank you for tuning in to the virtual version of the Spring Fishing and Boat Show cooking demo. I'm Chef Benny, I've been doing this for, this is my 11th year and uh, we've never had this unique situation. The one benefit for this situation is I'm in my home kitchen, which means I could pull out all the stops. Um, normally I'm restricted to a 15 minute demo and uh, offer a, a menu where we can put everything, all the, play, fla the flavor profile into a little cup and then uh, you get to sample it. You're going to have to take my word for it this year. Hopefully my reputation speaks for itself. This year I'm going to actually cook a piece of salmon. I've not done that uh, up to this point. Paul doesn't have a piece of fish to give me so I had to uh, scrounge around and get my own. So what I'm going to do is Benny's version of a Salmon Wellington. We're going to have my usual bacon in there, onions, cream cheese and potatoes and it's going to be wrapped in a puff pastry. Alright, so let's get started. Folks, these are some of the ingredients for the dish. So as part of the filling, we've got uh, bacon, which you know we always do that. What's uh, better than smoked uh, flavor with salmon, right? Then we've got sautéed onions, we've got the cream cheese, we've got the dill weed, We've got the butter for the dough and then we're going to make a bit of a very simple tartar sauce to go with it and we've got our pickle and our mayonnaise and here's a lovely piece of salmon. I'm going to show you how I trim it because you want it as even as possible so we're probably going to take away some of this belly portion of it and um, that's basically it. Quite simple but there is still some prep work. Okay folks so this is the uh, first step for the uh, part of the filling. So we've got our, our cubed potatoes, use any kind of potato. Uh, cook it until it's nice and soft and then you're just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. We're making essentially like a mashed potato but we're not adding too much liquid because we want this to be reasonably firm so we can work with it so it doesn't uh, slide off the, um, the salmon. And then we're going to add a couple tablespoons of uh, cream cheese. Let me just pop that in there like that and we're going to mash it. Try to get as many lumps uh, out of it as you can. Not that important that it be perfectly uh, smooth but again it's very important not to add too much liquid. And that's basically the main part of it. Now we're going to take some of the dill we're going to chop that up. So now we're just going to take some fresh dill weed and we're just going to chop that up. Doesn't have to be too too fine like that and throw that in. If you have any other uh, herbs such as parsley you could throw that in. So now we're just going to blend it in just like that and that's all there is. So now as always I always say taste it. So now that the, um, the mixture, the potato mixture is uh, perfect I'm just going to set it aside because it's got to cool down. While that's cooling down let's work on the pastry. Now the pastry is basically a modification of the 3 to one rule which is three parts of flour, two parts of fat and one parts of ice water. So it's basically, uh, the way I've modified it, it's, it's basically a cross between a pie dough and a tea biscuit. Alright so we've got one cup of uh, flour and we're going to add two tablespoons of margarine or butter, whatever you have, just like that. We're going to add a little bit of baking powder, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon, like that. And we're going to add a tiny bit of salt. And that's basically it. So we're basically incorporating the, um, the fat, it could be butter or margarine, and uh, just squishing it, working with a fork. And what you want really is it to look like a, a cornmeal, very coarse. You want to see little balls because those little balls are going to be 
nice and flaky. And that's what's going to give the pastry a little bit of uh, a crunch. And, uh, and it's going to give it a beautiful texture. If you want to use store-bought uh, puff pastry, you can. But this is, it doesn't get any easier than this. So now we've got some ice water. So roughly a little more than half a cup of water. You just want to add enough so that you can work the dough. Just like that. You don't want too, too much liquid. Just so enough that it holds it together. And then once you've uh, worked it a little bit, you can use your hands. And that's when you get a feel for whether the dough is um, ready or not, whether there's enough moisture. So I'm trying to squish it so that it holds together. Just needs a little bit more water. Just make the adjustment. Just like that. And then once that's uh, the way you want it, you let that cool down a little bit. Because, um, again, it's easier to work with once it's uh, nice and cool. So you're, if you were forming a nice ball, that's what you want. Just like that. See? It's just holding together. Just like that. Now normally I would ask you if you have any questions, but that's not going to happen this year. If you do have questions, you could uh, reach me through uh, my Facebook page. And that's basically it. That's what you want. You've got your dough. Okay, so we're going to set that in the fridge. Well, at this point in time, we have done part of the filling, which is the, uh, the potato and cream cheese with some dill weed. And we've made the dough. Everything is chilling now. So this is what's very important is that you want all the ingredients to be reasonably cool before you work with them. Okay, so the final, sorry, the third step would be now to trim the salmon and season it and get it ready for the assembly. All right, so again, there, there is a little bit of work to the prep of this uh, dish, but I've always said you get out of it what you put into it. Now, afterwards, we're going we're gonna to prepare a nice um, tartar sauce to go with it. I've served it with a nice uh, buttercream sauce that works well, but... I really do prefer the tartar sauce. And because it's a meal in itself, it's quite heavy. You've got the starch, you've got the protein, and you've got the pastry. I generally serve this with a nice garden salad or mixed greens with like a balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, something light just to balance out the meal, just to give it some greens. All right, so let's work on the, the salmon component of the dish. Okay, folks, so we got this lovely piece of Atlantic salmon. Um, so, for this kind of a dish, you want uh, as uniform piece of uh, meat, salmon, as possible. So, I generally trim away the uh, belly portion of it. This could be used for something else. Uh, don't waste it, that's a really good, nice piece of fish. And then we've got this beautiful piece of fish, and we're just going to go right down the middle, like that. And always check for remnant pin bones. Now, what I do, because I want, it, I, I want a wider profile so I can fit more stuffing, I butterfly my, uh, my salmon. So, just going to go right down, halfway down the middle, just like that, and just slice it, a little like that, and that's what you have, okay? So, you can fit much more filling in there. Same thing with here. Go right halfway down, and then just butterfly. You know, if you want a nice fat piece of meat like that, it's going to take longer to cook. Um, but it, when you stack the um, all the fillings, it's going to be really, really high. So this is the way I like to do it. Okay, next we're going to season it. Um, let me just rinse my hands. We're going to do a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Just like that. And I'm just going to do a little bit of salt on this side. For those of you who want to trim some of that dark meat the, from the mud line, you can do so. Um, it takes away some of the fishiness, the strong flavor, but you don't really have to. 
And let's just put a little bit of pepper on there. So now uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of um, garlic on there, a little crushed garlic. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can put garlic butter, anything you like. It just adds to the nice flavor to the uh, of the of the dish, just like that. All right. So once we've put the salt and pepper and the garlic on the um, on the salmon, we're going to put some uh, sautéed onions. Just like that. You could leave it out if you want. It doesn't matter. I think the sweetness of the onions really impart a nice balance of flavors. So there we go. We have that. And now we're going to put some of the potato filling on there. Okay, and we're just going to flatten it out. But you see how high the stack already is? Can you imagine if we uh, left that meat full, the full thickness of it? So we just see how the potatoes is easily workable because we didn't add too much moisture. There we go. Okay, there's the potato. Now we're going to add a little bit of bacon. And what I've done is I've not cooked it completely because I want some of the, um, the fat and the brine, the saltiness and the smokiness to be absorbed by the potato. Okay, just press that in there like that. Okay. And now we're going to add just a little bit more of the cream cheese. like that and then when we put the pastry on it we're gonna flatten it a little bit more and make a nice shape out of it and that's that and there we go now we're gonna work on um, unwrapping them in the dough all right all right so we've got the salmon ready to be wrapped we've had the um, the dough resting and uh, chilling for about 20 minutes and now we're gonna roll it out and we basically roll it out to about a little bit less than an eighth of an inch. So let's divide it up into two because we've got two pieces. And we're just going to figure out how wide it is. So the, um, the, the, uh, sorry, the length of the dough has to be as long as the uh, fish is. And the width has to be three times the width of it because we're tucking it underneath. All right. So let's, uh, let's get rolling. So we just roll it out. See how, e how easily it's workable. Okay, so let's measure. So we got that long. So, so up to there. So this is how long, how long it needs to be. Okay, we can easily add it on there. Okay, so we just roll it out. Just make sure you add enough flour so that it doesn't stick. Okay, again, now we've got, uh, that's how wide, so three times that. One, two, maybe a little less than three because you want it tucked in, you don't want it like too much dough on the bottom. So I think this should be good enough. Okay, let's trim it up. So it looks nice and even. Okay, and then we take a piece of fish and we take the dough, place it on there like that. Tuck it underneath, like that, and then we've got a tray with some parchment paper on there, and we just place it on the tray like that, 
All right, next uh, we're gonna put a little bit of an egg wash on there. So just grab an egg, beat it, and then we're just gonna brush the um, pastry with it. And this is what's gonna give it the really nice uh, golden shiny color. All right, so just a little bit more about the dish. Now, we wanna wait, we wanna cook this until the pastry is nice and dark and uh, golden. So the um, fillings act as a bit of an insulator and slow down the cooking of the, um, the salmon. And this minimizes the potential for the salmon to be overcooked while you're waiting for the pastry to brown. This is gonna be in the oven for uh, no longer than 45 minutes. I would say roughly 30 to 35 minutes, depending on your oven at 400 degrees. Okay, so we've, we've brushed it. There we go. And then we're gonna score it. Just like that. Okay, and then in the oven she goes. All right, so um, we've uh, wrapped the uh, salmon, we've uh, put the egg wash on there, and we've scored it, so it's ready in, to go in the oven. The oven's at 400 degrees, uh, and we're gonna leave that in there for about 30 to 40 minutes tops until it's nice and golden brown. While it's in the oven, the final stage will be to make some nice tartar sauce. Super easy, I've done it before for other um, menu items and we're gonna do that while this is in the oven. So the final stage would be to make the tartar sauce. So I've made it before, it's really simple. We're just going to uh, take two tablespoons of uh, mayonnaise, just like that. And we're gonna grate maybe a half or three quarters of a pickle in there. Oh, maybe a full size one, that's all right. And we're gonna put a squeeze of lemon in there. Like that. Shot of cayenne, just to give it a bit of heat. And a little bit of black pepper. And that's it. Okay, folks, the um, pastry has baked for about 45 minutes. It, this was a, a pretty big piece, so it took a little longer than normal. I set it on the counter and let it rest for 10 minutes. And this is the finished product. So this is the color you're looking for. You're looking for a nice golden brown color. And I know that it's cooked. All right, and so we're gonna plate it. So I've got a nice uh, tossed salad or a mixed green salad. I like to use a um, balsamic vinaigrette, but you can put whatever you want. So we're just gonna cut it in half to see what it looks like. And there's, there's the end product. And the fish looks cooked and we've got the potatoes. I think this is uh, pretty well bang on. So we're just gonna plate it, put it on there like that. Well, for the presentation, I made a live edge miniature serving board. I really had fun doing it. Something that I'm gonna probably pursue. Look out for it on my Facebook page. All right, so take care and I'll see you next year. Well, that was the dish, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making this video. As I always say, make it your own. Hope you're inspired and change it up. Throw in the ingredients that you like. I'd like to end this uh, presentation by thanking all the frontline workers and first responders for their dedication and help getting us through this difficult time period. So I'm hoping things will be back to normal next year. So I hope to see you all. Stay safe. Bon appétit.